Hi everybody, Dave Yelovic with Homes Built Right. It is the dog days of summer. It's hot out here and air conditioners on the outside are purring like a kitten. But inside, that unit inside trying to keep you cool is sweating bullets. Stick with me, we'll be right back. We're gonna talk about air conditioner sweat. How does that work? We'll be right back. Alrighty, so outside it was really hot. Uh, I'm lucky. I am currently upstairs. I'm up in the attic. This is a spray foam attic, so it's not as hot as a normal Texas attic. But here's a normal air conditioner. Now, depending where you live, your air conditioning unit, your inside unit, it could be down in the basement. It could be in a closet somewhere on the main floor of your house, or it could be up here in the attic, kind of like what we have here along the Gulf Coast. Whatever it is, though, all air conditioners sweat. They have a hard job in the summer. So you think doing the grass is tough? Well, this thing, it's working day and night, 24 seven to keep us cool. So why does it sweat? What's that all about? Well, quick, you know, just real quick about an air conditioner. Air conditioner, the air is coming from the house, from the turn air. It's coming through this unit. Right here is a coil. The evaporator coil has got cold stuff going through it and the air goes across it. And when it gets over there, it gets distributed to the house through the ducts. From here to there, when the air is going out, it's somewhere in the 50 degree to 60 degree range. It's really cold air. And then it gets to your house, into your rooms, and it makes you feel cool. As that air is coming across the coil here, it's going to condensate on that coil. Uh, kind of like your iced tea glass, you know, with a, a cold ice, you know, iced tea in the glass, if it's somewhat humid, kind of high relative humidity in the house, that glass sweats. Well, guess what that coil is doing? It's sweating and it's dripping water day and night, especially here in a humid climate. So that water is dripping down here and there's a pan in here. And that pan eventually comes to this point here. This is the primary drain. Air conditioners have two drains, a primary drain and a secondary drain. So the air conditioner sweat dribbles dribbles down here into a pan, comes to the primary drain. Primary drain is insulated because even this pipe, although it's just PVC, it'll sweat because that water is so cold here in the attic, it will sweat and condensate. So that's why we insulate this thing. And then it'll run to usually a sink somewhere downstairs inside the house. And uh, we'll see that in just a little bit. So what is this thing? So one thing we don't get to see uh, during construction or after construction is the primary AC drain. We saw it up at the AC unit and it runs somewhere. Well, it comes over to a top plate, comes through the top plate, and it'll come down in this case, in this house that's being built. You notice here there's an offset. And the offset's there as the water comes down from up above in the attic in this case. It will come down rather than going straight down into a, uh, a dead end there and dripping and making noise at night. It hits here and trickles down the walls of the pipe and then it'll go down and it'll come down here and this is the drain and now this will eventually tie into the drain of the sink and we'll see that so that's how this thing works what is this thing so primary drain here this little cap comes off this is just simply a clean out port uh, you or your air conditioner repairman uh, could come maybe once a year just put a cleaning solution down here and it goes down through the trap. There's a trap right here. And then it goes down and then out to the drain. So cleaning solution there. But we keep a cap on it so air doesn't come gushing through there. So there, trap, and out. So underneath this thing, let's assume this thing gets clogged up. There's some safety features like automatic shutoffs and this and that, but we won't get into that. But if the air conditioner sweat goes crazy and it starts dripping from this thing, down here is a safety pan. Safety pan per code has to be here, and it too is attached to a drain. The secondary drain then goes to the outside of the house somewhere. Usually you'll see these things sticking out of the overhang, the soffit of your house, where they'll just drip out into the yard. You might see them sticking out a sidewall outside, at which point they should have a 90 or 45 on them, so they drip straight down. Um, but they'll always be usually in front of a window, and we'll see that in some pictures here in just a little bit but it's going to drip in front of a window. So if you're inside, you'll see, hey, there's water dripping from above and it's coming from this thing up in your attic. So, so that's it, air conditioner sweat. They all do it day in, day out, 
24 seven, these things sweat like a big dog. So uh, we'll control the water and get it out through the primary, hopefully not the secondary drain. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like us if you liked it. Uh, join our, uh, subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you again on Homes Built Right.